welcome back to my channel so um i just want to apologize there's loads of kids playing outside there's about 20 of them playing football and they've been really loud um so if you hit i feel like they've gone now but yeah there was they came in the garden to stroke the rabbit and stuff and they're just harmless little kids but there was being really noisy so um if you can hear them it's just kids playing. Um, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 150. So I did have a lot more than money, but I had to go get Imogen Rose. Everything new. Honestly, when I say that she had a massive growth spurt, I don't know what happened. Like literally she went from four to five to six to seven. In the blink of an eye and then we've got two four six eight ten twelve thirteen pounds as well and then we've got some change which we'll put in our change pot as we always do we don't count that but we will start with our um with our awesome challenge it's nice and quiet now which is nice so we're going to try and finish some today hopefully uh which one should we go for this one so today is five pounds to the autism challenge. So this is available on Dingley Designs. Um, and all her profits after obviously she's made them goes to the National Autistic Society, which if you've followed me for a while, you know that I have two autistic children. Um, so yeah, it's a challenge, a challenge, a thing close to my heart. And we're going to do it and at the end of the month all the things that we make from it i'm also going to send to the same place so please get involved even if you just buy the challenge um you're really helping and um obviously i'm giving the money but you don't have to give the money um from the actual challenge just buying the challenge itself will help so i'm just going to move that out the way to the side so yeah, it's gone nice and quiet now, which I like. I've, we've lived here a month. And I haven't heard a single single noise, really. Um, and today, I don't know what's going on. But they seem to have come out in force um, to play. So it is the holidays and kids will be kids. But I don't know if it's just me. I don't like other people's kids. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Um... Is there anything in here that I want to do today? I think we'll come back to this one because um, I do want to do some other things first. So tell me how everyone is, how everyone doing. Um, I think I've said, but my kids are on holiday with their dad. So we're going to do crack the code first. And this one is from Little Moon Budgets. Is it Little Moon? Yeah, I'm sure it is. So we roll two dice and then we save. So that's... <gasps> We've done it! We've cracked the curd! What do we do? Does that mean we stop? I'm not stopping that. I've only got two more to do. Right, that is, yeah, one five, one five. Woo! That was easy enough. Right. I will, um, I'll put the six in. But I'm going to keep going for the other two. But technically, the challenge is technically over. Um, because that's the way you're meant to play it. But we'll just, we'll just, uh, colour this in just to say that that. I've seen someone else the other day crack it as well. So yay but we're gonna we're gonna keep going because we're gonna i can't leave two right six and six some mums telling their child they felt sad for losing their phone by the sounds of it which is 12. so we'll put a 10 and two and we'll go again this is just extra, like I say, I don't really need to play anymore, but I can't leave it there. And then we've got five and three. 
So that's another eight. So we'll put the eight in and we'll condense. Five, six, seven, eight. So that is 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'll put this 20 back and I'll grab an actual 20. And then we'll see how much crack the code has uh, got us. And I cannot believe I actually managed to do it. I'm not usually the type to be able to do them. You know, like, I'm just not that type of... Um, I'm not lucky is what I'm trying to say. So, let's see what we've got saved so we can mark it at the bottom. Because like I say, we do save all these up. Um, these challenges to the end. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 79. Right, I'm going to put in another pound. Make that 80, and then what I'm going to do, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, yeah. And then I'm going to put that back, like that, just so I've got my change, because I don't, I don't want, and I know that's upside down and it's going to bug people. So, this is 80 pound, I cannot believe 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, yeah. I cannot believe I cracked the code. How exciting. So, um, we'll just leave the money. Can you even see what I'm doing? I've just realised. Oh, I hope you could. You could, couldn't, yeah. I'm really sorry if you couldn't. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to put the money in there for now. Um, and we'll deal with it later, basically. So that's that one. I'm so chuffed with that that I managed to do that right farmer's market are we going to finish this one today i cannot remember i did put some of my leftovers into this one but i can't remember yeah we will because we'll, we've only got 20 left 20 we need another 20 into it so this challenge is from surf's budget in life so 10 20 30 4 right so we need right we'll take them five we need 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I've put 20 in. So that's another one done. I am really bad for smudging. One, two, three, four. So 20 pound in today. And that is another one done. That one's been fun. I like the little fruits. So we'll take out the envelope. Oh, these binders are so good, but they're so hard to open. I'll take that out. I haven't got a lot of money today, so every single one won't be getting money. But this one will. And I knew that I wanted to finish them too, because I knew that it was close to completion. So we've got them two now done, which is... How much was in there? 80 and 60 was it which I don't even know why I'm doing a calculator I know that's 140 so I'll put them I'll just put them under my desk for now so I know where they are um no nope so now going forward I will be working on these ones to get them done um I did stop doing the paper ones because I, one minute, let me just finish. Basically what happened is I was cleaning my things off with the, um, what do we call it? The, oh, I can't speak today, nail polish remover. And I accidentally, um, yeah, it, it wasn't good. <laughs> I accidentally got the nail polish remover all over the, um, paper one and because it wasn't laminated this is my issue with non-laminated things because it wasn't laminated it was unusable because it seeped so um yeah never mind there so i think we stopped here last time what am i doing i've done it again and i do that every single week I need this one for 
right one two three four one two so we're going to jail so when we go to jail we do this one and that's purple so that gets four pounds so we'll put that straight into cash trap we'll mark it off and then we'll probably go again oh so we did that one and then we did that one should we go again so on that one aren't we six one two three four five six so what do i do when i'm the winner winner you beat the cash trap now start again does that mean the game's over do we just take the money out and start again i don't know it's only 25 pound in there i'm confused do we do that You beat the cash trap now start again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll do we'll start we'll just take the money out and start again. Like it tells me. I'll still do it though. I'm not I'm not putting this one away. Tip one, two, three, four, five. So I'll put that them coins there, take the five out, and I'll just um Put that with the other money that I've saved here. So we'll keep going with the cash trap, but I'm just going to write on the back that I've saved round one £25 because otherwise I'll forget. So round, I have the worst handwriting by the way. Round one. Yeah, I can't just leave it at 25. I've got to keep going. Plus, I want to finish them all. But, you know, the actual... I want to get rid of them all. But I'm following the rules. I'm not very good at following the rules normally. But we will. Um, How much money have I got left? 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, we've got a ton of money still. Let's do rock, paper, scissors. Which is from Studio Budget Co. I feel like I'm all over the joint today. One minute. One minute, I'll be back. Right, I'm back. I'm just going to put this £25 in with crack the code at the front because I don't want to take the envelope because I'm still going to do it. We'll do it a few times because it's fun. Um, So it's in there for now. And I will just literally put that in my drawer for now. I don't know why I've put that in there though. Why have I done that? Um, And then we're going to do rock, paper, scissors. And then we'll go from there and see what, what we can put in our binder then. No. Paper. Right. I always have to double check that I'm doing the right one. It is paper, isn't it? Yep, yeah, ten. Right, ten. We'll do one more. Rock. Five. Right. Should we count them or not? I don't know. There's a few that I haven't started yet, so that's why. So, so far we have 20, 30, 45. And that should be right, yeah. 30, 40. No, that, should, that isn't right. 15, 30, 40. Should be 50. 20, 30. 40, 50, oh there is 50, ignore me, I can't count. Right, now let's go on to um, Soph's Bind and see what we can do in here. I know there's a few in here that are close to being completed and this is where my, my jar comes in. So we're going to go back to the front, not that one, and see what we can do. There's a few that I know are close. So this one, 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. Let's do it. Ooh, there's a 10 there. Look at that. Get back there. I know they're all upside down. People are going to be like, oh, not the note upside down. Right, what was it? 26. Right. That smells of smoke. Someone has had this money. It's smoked. Right. Obviously, I'm not going to make you sit through me colouring all these. I usually do them off camera. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six. So that one is £70. So then what we do is we go into our jar of money and we get the £70 out because it's all from the same like challenges. So I'm not like robbing myself. It's actually from here. So let me just try and find some 20s. 20, 40, 60, 70. So that is for this one. And there is my paper clips. So we'll grab a paper clip. We've finished a few today. So it's my nephew's birthday on, I think it's Sunday. And my sister's praying for the children to all go to rebound. <gasps> Number one done. Yay. Um, so I might need to spend some of this because I've got no money in the actual birthday sinking fund at the moment so we've got another 20 here so again we'll put that in just to make it official and we will colour in Nancy and Norris go camping the thing I like about these is they're really easy and add up really quick so I've only been doing this book about two weeks and I've already finished front two and the reason being is yeah it is quick to finish but it's because when I have spare money like left from my purse I don't do it on camera I just literally put it where I want it to go um which is obviously because otherwise I'd just waste it on crap um which I don't want to do but today I did waste money I'm not gonna lie but it is what it is. I don't think there'll be a cash stuff in next week either. Um, but there will be a really big one the following week. Because um, next week I have driving lessons and stuff. And kids are back at school. And I need to stock up um, the freezer. So it means I'll have to do a really big food shop. And yeah. Then I'll have to do my purse and pocket monies and just everything just needs doing um, next week so again we're gonna go in here we're gonna take oh this is stressing me out because it's all mixed up 10 20 30 40 how much is it 70 50 look at all these fives 60 70 that's another one done. And this is all going to sink in front. Holiday, summer holidays. I'm just going to leave it there until it accumulates quite a lot of money. I'm literally just going to put it in like a folder or something. I'm going to find one and put it in there. Um, I know that a lot of people do them at the end of the month, but... I don't know, I don't like to be same as other people, so right, what do we need on this one? 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 10. So we can do it. Let's do it. Right. I do have the other one of this one as well. So 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, and a lot of these are, are now going to be fives. One minute. 
So about that, we're just doing some cash condensing in my um, Dingley Designs Challenge. So now we should have 85. So 10, 20, I know they're all upside down, I'm sorry. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Let's try and count it. Right, backwards. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85. Another one. I need one of them, um, like, buzzers, what they have in, in America. They all have a... Oh, I'm not going to lie. Now, I'm not trying to take away from anyone that does small challenges. I personally do not feel accomplished completing challenges that are so small. Because I know how quick I've done it. Please don't take that the wrong way. Um, it's just... I, I feel more... Oh, no, let me just... How much have I got here? Two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 40, 16. I feel more accomplished if I do a challenge, um, a challenge which is like a lot bigger. Do you know what I mean? So what should we do? Should we put it all into fizzy funds and then this one next time will be nearly done? 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, let's do that. 2, 4, 6. Eight, ten. So we'll put that in there, and then we'll colour the ten. This is what I do. I I get a few at the same time, close to being completed, and then um, because then next time when I come to do them, I'll catch up on like my Friday one and my. My ones that I should have done today, like my April ones. As long as they get done in April, it's not a problem, is it? Like, I don't have to do them every single week. And I knew this week I wanted to complete them. But I don't think that I'm going to um, keep that money there. I think I'll probably... Let me just... Because what's this? 10, 20, 35, 40... Yeah, I'll probably um, I'll probably just put it all into one envelope. In fact, we might do that together at the end. So two, four, six. So what we'll do is we'll just get rid of a number six on here. I know it's cheating, but it doesn't matter, does it? Two, four, six, and then that is all our money gone for today. So we have. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, you know. I'm going to see how much we've got. Got that, and then we can put that. Where is it? I haven't, I haven't had it for a while. Here it is. These are all our ones we've completed this year. All in here. Although they're not going to go all go in here. I don't know if you can see. You don't have to see this bit, don't worry. Um, and then we've got Farmer's Market. So bear in mind, this is only the start of the month, so I'll keep this going all month and see how much we can complete, because I want to complete um, a few more in the bind, I want to complete, I think that's it for the actual challenges. Um, what was I saying, sorry. I want to complete rock, paper, scissors. There's like ones that I want to complete. And um, I want to do it in April. And we're just going to leave all this money to the end. But you've seen which ones. I don't see the point in keeping them all paper clipped together like this. It's just going to annoy me having to keep an eye on them. So today we're finished. What's popping? Strawberry Harvest, which I will finish it colouring. Um, Nancy and Norris. And then obviously the ones that I've just put in here, which was, what was they? Um, Farmer's Market and Crack the Code. 
So at the end of the year, we will see what we've completed. And today we have... So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2. So there's 2. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3. Wow, 3. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we have saved £390 towards our sinking funds. So I know now that I can fully fund school uniform, at least. So we're just going to put this money into... Let me find... Ah, I'll we'll find this one into this envelope and then we'll keep adding to it and adding to it and then we know that we're getting where we need to be and I don't know if I showed you but I did have I did um, get this for Christmas again I want to start putting money into this but we're going to keep putting money into this and then we will be like right £200 can go to Christmas whatever so I did have a £1,000 for Christmas but I spent it on this house so um, this was from Twisted, I forgot the lady's name, Twisted Design, maybe she didn't put a name on it. Anyway, Twisted something or other, I'll link the shop down below. And she custom this for me for free kit and it's just all different envelopes. Um, and it just says it's beginning to cost a lot like Christmas. So I do have that, which again, we're just going to keep adding money to this and... We will um, get there and then when we next get paid, we'll put some into this. I think next week, even though I'm not going to do proper cash stuff and I will put this in, so that's 10. There's only 20 in April left on that one. And I have already scratched in 20 in that, so I'll do April next week for that. Um, I might still come on and do a little video just to have a little chat and do it together. Let me know what you think. I am in two minds about stopping this um one minute oh i've got that in my happy meal i'm in two minds about stopping this one i feel like i'm too far be behind we're now in april there's just no way i can catch it up because i only just started it last week or the week before i feel like i'm going to take the 40 20 40 45 pound out of that and maybe maybe we can do it today Sophia won't mind I'm sure of it, she'll understand because I'm just so far behind with it, it's just stressing me out well, yeah, we'll take out the £45 and we will put that we'll play what should we play I bet you all thought I'd finished, didn't you? You all thought I'd finished, but I've not. We will do... We'll do Duck Duck Goose, because I haven't done that one this week. Let me just move it out of the way. So we'll just roll it once. Finally a duck. Honestly, we was all saying that these... Kimberly has hexed all our dice. <laughs> that is a duck, in it? Yeah. So... Ducks five, so we'll do. Oh, that's the wrong pen, but never mind. We'll do it again. Another duck ten. Shall I risk it again? Yeah, why not? 
Oh, I knew it. 20. Well, that's fine because that means I could put in 20 now. Did I just do that one? No, I didn't, did I? Otherwise, the pen would be different. 10, 20, 30. So there should be £40 in this. If the years we're doing it right, no? 10, 20, 30. Yeah, 40. Which is £40. So that's a Duck Duck Goose, which is from Kimberly Budgets, which I feel like is a good one to put in because it's a nice amount of money. I do hate not doing challenges when I start them, but also on the same coin, it's just a lot of money to catch up and I just I just don't feel like I can. So this one is £12 to finish page one. So we'll take that out. And I know that it needs 40 in total for page one. So we're nearly done this one anyway. So I feel like again with this one, I'm literally just going to stuff it as I do it. Even though like the full challenge is for a lot more. I don't know how much. Um, there's the 40. I feel like I am just going to take it out and then mark on the back when I've completed it. Completed. Is it the second of the first? And then next time we'll do this one, which is a milkshake a day keeps the words away. It's all different anyway. Um so what we'll do is again we'll take this money. Where's our envelope? Oh great, I've lost the money. Where have I put it? Anyone see it? Tell me. It's there. We'll put that in there. That's my money. And we'll put that one back and then we'll carry it on. I feel like surf's challenges do get a lot of my attention, a lot of them, because I have basically pretty much all of them that she owns. Um, and then I want to do... Where is it? I want to do. I think the only one I'm not going to do that with is is um, my Kimberly Kimberly's game day bind. I want to do all that in one go. Is it in here? Yeah, it is. We'll do another rock paper scissors and, and pray that we don't get scissors. And if we do, we're going to ignore it and roll again <laughs> because. I mean, I could cheat, but I don't want to. Right. Pray to the gods, it's not scissors. That's a joke, isn't it? You didn't see that. Look, it's paper. No, it's not. It's rock. Yay, rock. You didn't see that. Ooh. No cheating round here. We gotta do what we gotta do, right? <laughs> Let's leave that one there. Can hear Imogen going, "Woo, Daddy!" She has been hard work today. Let me tell you, hard work. When I say I have the headache from hell, I have the headache from hell, like so bad. Um. I'm going to take that. We'll leave that in for another one. But then what we'll do is we'll go back to our um this one. And we will go back to this page. We'll put £5 into this one. And then we'll put the other three into the next one. So we're basically, each one, we're giving... Oh, I must have been talking for too long because my battery... Um, each one we're giving more and more love to each week and then they basically just get done quicker don't they so we're going to put that five into there and then we're going to put this three into the diced latte challenge which is the next one 
and then we are done. Now you might think I'm a bit of a fail yet for not doing that 2024 one, but it's just too... <sighs> For me, because it's 2024, I'd want to finish it in 2024. I'm not the type of person that can do, like, the whole, or oh, keep it going. And I have seen that she's just released the 2025 one. So, you never know. I might start that one early. I do want to do, um, like, I do have a lot of challenges, so they're going to equal a lot of money anyway. Um, which is fine with me but yeah I will leave it there speak to you soon bye